in this next video, let's look at section 2.2, number 23, which asks us to find a lot of things. And actually, I haven't even included all the parts on number 23, but I'll leave a few of them for you to look at yourself. Uh, but we have all these different things that we need to find based on the graph that we have right here. So let's take a look and see what we can do with this. Um, the first thing that the problem asks us to find is let's find uh, f of 1. So we look over here, and uh, let me label this real quick. We got 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's a minus 1, and here's 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, so if we're looking at f of 1, we're looking at what is the functional value directly above or below 1. So I look above 1. This is an open hole. Here's the point. And so the point above 1 is at 3. So f of 1, in this case, is 3. Now we start getting into uh, two pieces of this problem that have to do with left-hand limits and right-hand limits. And when we talk about right and left-hand limits, if I'm facing the board, I can say my right hand is over here, my left hand is over here. And so am I coming from the right or am I coming from the left? Right, uh, the right side of a number line is positive. The left side of a number line is negative. And so I'm going to use that knowledge to say, okay, what does this little minus and this little plus mean? Well, if I'm saying the limit is x goes to 1 from the left, I'm coming from negative land over towards the point. So in this case, I'm saying what's the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of f of x. So I'm saying from the left as I come towards 1. So as I'm coming towards 1 walking along this function from the left, I'm getting closer and closer to a y value, and that y value is 2. So the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of f of x, in this case, is 2. Part C is similar. It's saying, what if you start walking towards the point 1 on this graph from coming from the right or the positive side of the graph? So the positive side comes this direction. And as I'm coming from the positive side and walking towards the x value 1, I'm getting closer and closer to a value, and that value is also 2. And so another way of thinking about this question, part D, what's the limit as x goes to 1 of f of x, is just asking, OK, I had a limit coming from the left. I had a limit coming from the right. Are those two guys the same? If the answer is, yeah, they're the same, then the answer is what they're equal to. If they are different, then the answer is there's no limit. Okay, So if these guys agree, the answer is what these guys agree on. If these guys disagree, then there's no limit. But they do agree in this case, and so the answer for this limit is also 2. Now let's move on. Let's look at this second grouping of questions. Uh, part E asks us, what's f of 3? So that's just asking at 3. Is there a functional value directly above or below the x value of 3? And as we look up, we see there is a point above 3. It happens at 2. So f of 3 is 2. Uh, part f says, what's the limit as x goes to 3 from the left? OK, remember again, from the left, from minus world. So if I'm coming at this thing from the minus side, then I'm getting closer and closer to 3 from the minus side. So what are the y values getting closer and closer to? As I come towards 3, the y values are getting close to 4. As I come at the point 3 from po the positive side, or the right-hand limit, then I'm coming from the positive side, getting close to 3. So I'm getting closer and closer to something. What am I getting close to? The y value, 1. So we would say that the limit as x goes to 3 from the right of f of x is 1. And then finally, I ask the question, OK, so what's the limit as x goes to 3 of f of x? So another way of asking that is, do the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit agree? If they agree, 
then that's the answer. If they disagree, then this guy doesn't exist. In this case, they disagree, so we say that this limit does not exist. And I'll leave the last four parts of this question for you.